super shock. Megan is nominated for a podcast award. Archwell might spend too much money to buy it. Hello, friends. Welcome to the breaking news of the royal renegade couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. On Wednesday, it was revealed that Meghan Markle's Archetypes podcast had been nominated for a coveted People's Choice Award. Voted for the Pop Podcast of 2022 category is open to listeners, and the results will be announced on December 6th. The nomination was announced on Rebecca Sanane's Instagram page, who oversees audio at Archwell. She penned, A People's Choice Award nomination has been made for Archetypes. Vote if you enjoy our program. In its inaugural season, Archetypes welcomed a number of well-known guests, including Mariah Carey, Mindy Kaling, and Paris Hilton. Megan made a statement after the Queen passed away in September, saying she wouldn't publish any new episodes until a period of grief was finished. The Duchess of Sussex will compete against Call Her Daddy, Anything Goes with Emmer Chamberlain, and Armchair Expert with Dak Shepard. Conan O'Brien needs a friend, not skinny but not fat, smart less, and Why Won't You Date Me, starring Nicole Byer, are among the other films nominated in this category. With actress Issa Rae and talk show presenter Z-Way, Megan tackles the archetype of the furious black woman in the most recent episode of Archetypes. The trio discusses the trope's origins and how media portrayals of women, particularly women of color, are made. The Duchess also admitted to resuming an old habit after coming back to the U.S. She acknowledged that she had started drinking coffee again after having stopped when she was residing in the U.K. When asked why she began over, Megan stated, I suppose since life started to pick up again, visitors arrive and meetings are required, it's a custom. After this news was spread, audiences all over the world, especially the UK and the US, made harsh comments about it. Most people are skeptical about some secret link between Archwell and People's Choice. The majority of companies involved with awards are all linked and have a vested interest in the people who they employ. So when they want to promote certain people or shows or charities, they give an award to them. It's more of a marketing cap tactic to earn them money and also free publicity rather than giving credit to the awarded person. The guest list that Megan has had are people who are under contract from companies with a vested interest. These people have no choice but to show up and say their bit and fade. Megan doesn't realize that she is now the property of a big business that either makes or breaks her. I expect in the future, once she's served her purpose, she will be ousted. It's the same with Hollywood celebrities and the music industry. Once you aren't earning your employer's money, you are gone. One spectator commented, I read elsewhere that subscriptions have dropped a lot from both Spotify and Netflix. If people turn off boycotting Meg and Harry, their employers won't tolerate them for long. No doubt in my mind that Spotify has influenced the nomination by whatever organization is running these nothing awards. They need to justify the huge amount of money they've forked out for the irrelevant and garbled bilge that's finally being produced by the showgirl. Many people question how is it called People's Choice? Not clear what actual award is in contention. The article says it's for a People's Choice Award. Which one? How do people vote? Who is sponsoring this? Meghan Markle? It does sound like something an insecurely employed social media manager would concoct on the boss's orders. Have Harry and Meghan won any awards that weren't handsomely paid for? While they can still claim a charitable donation for the fee. Many experts assert that if Meghan receives this award, People's Choice will receive a bitter end of the boycott. It cannot be called a prestigious award anymore. No, of course, because anyone can nominate anyone or anything. Meghan can collect all these faux plaques and trophies and put them in her mansion, 
but it will not change who she is, what she's done, and what she continues to do. Take the titles away. She is a very dark cloud over the monarchy. One spectator voiced his opinion. People's choice. That joke of an award resulted from the fact that the Oscars and Emmys are chosen by those who know the craft of acting and production versus the trendy, fickle, popular choice du jour of the movie and TV audiences. Just another award purchased through the PR agency. Narcissism runs amok. This wonderful couple set up a foundation, nominate themselves for awards they invent or pay for, and then win them. The pair, then on private transport, attend ceremonies and conferences where they spend the audience to attend to cheer them when they receive these awards. The madam gets dressed up in hundreds of thousands of pounds of clothes and jewelry, which look like bags of rags, to tell everyone how wonderful they are. Meghan Markle celebrates as her new podcast is already up for a prestigious award. This is taking her to new heights. This doesn't seem right. So false. As a podcast in 2022, it is eligible to be voted on. Nothing more, nothing less. The headlines make it sound like it is already nominated. It is in the running for people to vote on by virtue of being a 2022 podcast. Please stop treating us like morons. Something has to be done about this woman. Get her off the media, off the air. She is a liar, a divisive figure, and a baiter. Titles removed and off. Stop these false misleading headlines and puff pieces. I'm sure there's much more to come. Just like they had their exit from the royal family planned from the moment they got married, up until the time they received the new titles, I'm sure they've had this onslaught planned for some time now. I think they got a little sidetracked, and it may have slowed their momentum when they were not given free reign at Her Majesty's Jubilee, may she rest in peace, and then again at Her Majesty's funeral proceedings. The huge difference between the Prince and Princess of Wales and overseas Harry and Meghan, Catherine and William hand out awards to people who achieved great things in life and positively impacted the community or the world. Those people are mainly ordinary people like you and me. Harry and Meghan buy the Hollywood and Celebrity Awards to be handed out to themselves for no work at all. A lot of hot, stinky air, but no work. One spectator commented harshly, Harry and Meghan have joined the Democrat Degenerate Club. Of course they preach the same woke to speak. They will continue to buy their trophies for doing nothing. But the greater citizens in the U.S. as a whole are doing their level best to push these degenerates from power. God wins in the end. What do you think about the People's Choice Podcast Award that Megan was nominated for? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.